what is a gene? It's the answer from Mendelian genetics is that a gene is something that gives rise to a trait. Right. And dominant and recessive and segregation and assortment. All of these ideas about what a gene is, how a gene behaves, are based on observations of the phenotypes of individuals. Right. Nothing about molecules was ever involved in um, Mendel's determining the, his ideas, his rules, his principles surrounding genes and their inheritance. However, if you ask molecular genetics what a gene is, a gene is instructions for making a protein. And so if we say draw the nucleus of a cell and that nucleus has some DNA in it, Let's say that the instructions for making a gene are right here. The first step involves the transcription, the copying of those instructions into RNA. And then that RNA gets translocated out of the nucleus. And then ribosomes attach to that RNA. And they translate that RNA into a protein. This is the central idea of molecular biology. In fact, it's so central that we call it the central dogma. That DNA goes to RNA, goes to protein. And remember that DNA here is our information storage, right? DNA is, um, is stable, and it's because of its secondary structure, it's easy to replicate. RNA is an information transmission mechanism, right? RNA is an information carrier, right? It carries the information from the DNA, which is in the nucleus, out into the rest of the cell where that information can be used. And finally, the proteins are the actual functional bits, right? These are the cellular machinery. And so the information that is stored in the DNA is copied into RNA, moved out into the cell, where it is turned into proteins, which are actually the functional bits. Tiny little bit of additional terminology. This process for here, converting DNA to RNA, is called transcription. And this process here, converting RNA into protein, is called translation. And so it turns out that even though these are two different ways of looking at genes, right, genes giving rise to traits or genes giving rise to proteins, these two ideas are linked. How are they linked? Well, if I have alleles one, and if I have two different alleles, say allele one and two, then those different alleles have different DNA sequences. And those DNA sequences are transcribed into different RNA sequences. Those different RNAs lead to different protein sequences, protein amino acid links. And because those proteins have different primary structure, they have different tertiary structure. 
proteins that have different tertiary structures have different functions. And organisms whose proteins are operating differently have different phenotypes. Right. This idea of the central dogma from DNA to RNA to protein via transcription and translation links the idea of genes giving rise to traits to genes and proteins. Okay. Different alleles have different sequences, lead to proteins with different shapes, different structures, different functions, and different phenotypes. And unfortunately, because there are thousands and thousands of proteins, this particular link from protein structure to phenotype, this is complicated, right? This is still um, kind of an ongoing research problem. This link from DNA sequence to RNA sequence is quite straightforward, right? It's basically a direct copy. You replace thymine with uracil, but otherwise you're done. However, the link between RNA sequence and protein sequence took a little bit of digging to figure out, and that's our next topic.